Okay, so now that we understand why tails is not persistence by default, why you might want to use persistence, and the warnings and the things that you want to keep in mind while using persistence, let's go ahead and see how to enable it and how to use it. So, I have tails right here, and to enable persistent storage, we're going to go to Applications, Tails, and we're going to click on Configure Persistent Volume. This will open the Persistence Wizard. It'll give you a warning. Pretty much all the stuff that I mentioned in the previous lecture, it'll also tell us how much of the memory stick will be used to create the persistent storage. So I have a 32 gigabyte USB flash drive, as you can see, only 20 of this will be used to create the persistent volume. It's also asking me for a passphrase. This is the passphrase that will be used to encrypt this storage. Make sure you pick something that is difficult to guess and difficult to brute force, but make sure it's also easy for you to remember. So I'm going to put my passphrase. I'm going to verify it in the second box. And once you're ready, you can click on Create to create the persistent storage. And once done, you will get a menu like this one right here, which will ask you to what exactly you want to save in this persistent volume. So by default, you can see personal data is set to on. And what this will do, it will actually create a directory that you'll be able to see here in places called persistent. And anything you store in this directory will be persistent and will not be removed when you restart or shut down Tails. So right now you can see I don't have it because persistence is not enabled. Once I do, once I restart keeping this on, you'll see I'll have a new directory in here which I can use to store my files. Now, you can take any of these as you wish. For example, if you want to store your bookmarks, you want to take this. If you want to store the settings you set for your network connections, you want to take this. So, for example, if you connect to a Wi-Fi network, it'll remember the password. Because otherwise, with the installation that we have right now, the Wi-Fi settings are not stored. So you'll have to connect to the same network if you are connecting to the same network every time you boot into Tails. The additional software will not remove any software you install on Tails. Now, you want to be careful about this, because like I said, if hackers install software on your installation, then that software will also be persistent. So, make sure you only turn this on if you know what you're doing. You have other options, for example, for printers, for Thunderbird, which is a mail client, GNUPG, the Electron Bitcoin Wallet. And basically, turning on persistence for any of these programs will store anything you do within these programs and store all the settings. So I'm actually going to turn it on for Electrum because I might want to store some keys in this Bitcoin wallet, and I wouldn't want them to be deleted. I'm going to do the same with GNUPG because, again, I might have some passwords in here or keys that I don't want them to be deleted when I restart or boot into Tails again. I'll do this for Thunderbird as well. As for Pigeon, just in case I actually go ahead and modify the settings of any of these programs or store something in these programs, I don't want it to be deleted. I want it to be stored every time I boot into Tails. So like I said, go through these options, see which programs you might want to use, and turn them on accordingly. Now don't worry about these programs that I didn't really speak about. We will go through a lot of these programs as we go through the course, and you'll learn exactly what they can be used for. So, once you're done with selecting the files and the settings that you don't want them to be removed or reset, click on Save. And that's it, we're done. Now, the persistent volume will not actually be active or usable until we restart Tails. So, I'm going to close this, and I'm going to restart. And now, when you get to the Welcome Wizards of Tales, you'll see we have an extra option in here. So right now, we can put the passphrase here and unlock the persistent storage. 
or just click on Start Tales to start it normally without unlocking this storage, so it'll work exactly like we've seen in previous lectures with no persistence at all. So right now I actually want to unlock the persistent storage, so I'm going to put the passphrase that I created when I created the storage, and I'm going to click on Unlock. As you can see, it's still enough that the storage is unlocked. And now if I start Tails, I should have access to this persistent storage and be able to store files in my persistent directory and all the settings that I'm going to change within the programs that I picked will still be stored even if I restart Tails. So if I go to Places now, you will see we have an extra directory called Persistent. And anything we place in this directory will not be removed when we restart Tails. So let's try this. I'm going to right-click and create a new folder. And let's call this Persistence Test. So we have this new folder here. And I'm going to create a new folder on the desktop. And we'll call this Test 2. So when I restart Tails now, Test 2 should be removed because it's stored outside of the persistent storage and persistent test in here should still be here. I'm just going to do this to help you understand how to use this persistent storage. So you can put any files that you don't want them to be removed in here and then anything you store outside of this directory will be securely wiped every time you turn off tails. I'm also going to go ahead and connect to a Wi-Fi network because remember when I configured persistence, I chose to store the network settings. So any settings I make should be persistent and should not be reset when I restart Tails. So I'm going to go to my Wi-Fi settings and I'm going to click on select network. I'm going to select my network and connect, put the password, connect. And as you can see, the icon is restored. It's telling me Tor is ready. And if I look in here, wire disconnected and Wi-Fi is connected to my network too. So now when I restart, the test in here, the test directory should be removed because it's outside of the persistent storage. The persistent test here should still be here because it's inside the persistent storage. And... I should automatically connect to this network because I configured my network settings to be persistent. So this will go to show you that all of the programs that I turned on the persistent option to will store any settings or anything that I do in them. So let's go ahead and restart. Okay, so we're back at the login screen. Again, as usual, I'm going to put my password in here to unlock the persistent volume. Unlock. That's unlocked. Perfect. Now we're going to start it. And perfect, as you can see. First of all, we don't see the test directory that we created here. This is good because we created it outside of our persistent volume. Now let's go to Places. And go to our persistent volume. And as you can see, we do have the persistent directory right here. This is perfect. This should still be here because we created this inside the persistent volume. So if you stored any other files in here, you'll always be able to see them when you start Tails. Let's go ahead and check if we automatically connected to our Wi-Fi network. And perfect. As you can see, it automatically connected. Like I said, without Persistent, you would have had to connect to your target network every time you start Tails because the network settings won't be stored. This is just an example of all the other applications which we enabled Persistent for. So right now I can use any of the other applications that I enabled Persistence for and anything I do on these applications will be stored even after I restart Tails. So this is perfect. Right now I have the best of both worlds. I can store files in a specific encrypted volume. I can also store some settings that I specifically chose. And everything else will be securely wiped every time I turn off the machine.
Not only that, but I still have the option of using tails with no persistence exactly as we've seen in previous lectures. All I have to do is, let me restart, and all I have to do is basically just start tails without unlocking the persistent volume. So right here, all I have to do is literally ignore this and just click on Start Tails. And this will start it for me in the normal mode without mounting the persistent volume, so I won't even have access to the file stored in the persistent directory. So now, even if I go to Places, I don't even have a directory called Persistent. And just to confirm, if I go to my network settings, you'll see that it's detecting that I have a Wi-Fi adapter, but it's not automatically connecting to my network, even though that we can detect the network, because the network settings are not accessible, because we started tails without mounting the persistent volume. So, right now, we have an installation of Tails on a USB stick that we can use as an amnesic live operating system where nothing gets stored once you shut it down. And, if we wanted to, we can unlock the persistent volume, which will allow us to store files in a specific location. And, it will also allow us to restore the settings for the programs that we enabled persistence for. And keep in mind, all of these settings and all of these files are stored in an encrypted volume that is encrypted with a passphrase that we pick ourselves. Now, if for any reason you wanted to delete the persistent storage, all you have to do is go to Applications again, to Tails, and click on Delete Persistent Volume. This will ask you if you really want to do this. I'm going to say, yes, delete it for me, please. And that's it. Now it's deleted. So now if you restart, you won't even get the option to unlock the persistence volume because it is deleted.